Okay, let's get started. Welcome, my name is Ty Lopez. I'm gonna be talking to you about how you can get small businesses to pay you one to $10,000 a month, okay? I'll just start by saying this. If you're not making enough money, if you've never experienced financial freedom, I was just Snapchatting about this today because I've been on both ends of the spectrum where I've had no money. You know, I grew up with a single mom. I was born, my dad was in prison. I didn't grow up, you know, this is Beverly Hills here, but I didn't have that experience at the beginning. And so I just thought it was normal to always be stressed out about money. So if you're at that place, I got good news for you. You don't have to be in that place in the modern world. I don't care what the media tells you, what people say, there's more opportunity now than there's ever been. And I'm gonna talk about here in this time we have together um, about what I think is one of the most cutting edge trends, something you can be one of the first to get into. And remember, if you want to make enough money, you want financial freedom, you need to be a trend catcher, somebody who catches trends. So I wanna to talk to you about a trend that I think is huge, huge out there. And that's why I've seen it. I've opened up a test group and I've been training people how they can get small businesses locally and around the world to pay them one to $10,000 a month. Just think how your life would change if even you did something like this part-time. You know, an extra $1,000 a month goes a long way. When I, I remember when I first was able to make an extra like 500 or 1,000 bucks a month, I was able to save up for a nice car because I didn't have a car at all. I couldn't even make money because I couldn't go anywhere. And a Mercedes is only like, payment on a Mercedes is like 300 bucks a month. So I was able to get a nice car. I was able to get a nicer place to live. And I wasn't even, I'm not even talking about making massive money. You know, now in business, I've gone through different stages. Now I'm interested in businesses that will make me one to $10 million a month. But that took me a while to get to. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 19 years old. So at the beginning, I was just trying to make an extra 100 bucks a month, an extra 1,000 bucks a month. Then from there, I figured out how to make an extra $10,000 a month. And then from there, I figured out how to make an extra 100,000 a month. And then once you figure out how to make 100,000 a month, if you wanna keep trying to go up, you know, I, I figured out how to make a million dollars a month. And, and I call it the rule of tens. You can just keep going up from 100 bucks to 1,000 bucks a month, 10,000, 100,000, a million, you can try for 10 million, okay? There's right now, like I said, the media is gonna tell you this is impossible. People are gonna say stuff like this is a scam, it's a get rich quick scheme. Well, all I could tell you is I meet people every day that are laughing all the way to the bank at those media people. If you were on my Snapchat, you see almost every day people. I just had uh, a guy named Jalen White over. He's 19 years old. He made $70,000 last month and he averages making 20 to $70,000 a month. He brought a friend to his, Jeff, who's doing e-commerce, made $90,000. Uh, I've got people you'll see, I just had somebody um, who followed the exact steps I'm about to show you. He's 21 years old, I think he lives in Michigan. He wants to fly down here and meet me and thank me. He made an extra, he made $20,000 in one month. He got one business, one doctor's office to pay him 20 grand to manage his so, uh, their social media for him. So this stuff's proven to work. Now, not everybody will follow, so it doesn't work for everybody. It's kind of like buying a book. There's business books that 5 million people have bought that book. Doesn't mean 5 million people have actually implemented what that book said. So if you're watching this, I'm gonna show you how, if in the past you procrastinated, how you can overcome procrastination. I'll be answering some questions. I got a live comment feed going right here. Um, so I'll be answering some of your questions as we go. But get excited. You know, when I was sleeping on a couch in a mobile home in Clayton, North Carolina, and I only had $47 in my bank account, um, I remember having read a book by Tony Robbins that said, when you succeed, you party but when you fail, you ponder. And all greatness comes from that moment when you're pondering, okay? So right now, you might be in a hard place, but get excited. And when I was sleeping on that couch, even though I felt like being down and hard on myself, I got excited, and lo and behold, it, within that year, I figured out how to make six figures by finding mentors, by learning systems, 
by getting a map and a template from somebody else who already knew how to make money and I just implemented their system into my life. Okay, and that's what I did back with internet marketing. So I'll talk a little bit about my story, but most importantly, I want you to be here. Hopefully you take some notes. You don't have to take a ton of notes. It'll be too distracting, but get the highlights for this. I'm not gonna keep this video up. You know, if you've watched my stuff, a lot of videos, I'll keep them up and then I take them down just because, you know, my goal is not necessarily to reach everybody in the world. I think over 100 million people watch my videos last year. So I'm reaching a lot of people, but videos like this are a little more special just because, um, you know, I don't give, a, one of my mentors said, show people your secrets, but not all of them, you know? So I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm not, I don't necessarily share every single business thing, but once in a while I'll get really candid and open like I'm doing right now and share a lot more uh, of the things that I've learned from my mentors and my own experience in business with you. So if you plan to come back, try to watch this later, um, it'll video will probably be gone, okay? Don't, please don't contact. My customer support and my office gets swamped, man. Just people who didn't listen to what I said that I'm closing stuff, then people call up and go, wait a sec, I wanna, I wanna get in. You snooze, you lose. That's the rule of life. Warren Buffett, the billionaire, when he does a business deal, he'll present the deal to the other side and say, listen, here's the deal I'm offering you. You have 24 hours. If you're not interested, I'm gonna move on to somebody else. And Warren Buffett says, and I wanna warn you, when I move on, I never come back. So I see some questions. How do you get someone to pay you $1,000 a month managing social media if you're starting from scratch? Um, why is it that for some small businesses it's hard to even pay $200 a month? How do you determine the right price to charge a business? So I'm gonna touch on that. So here's the basic deal. You're out there, you're living your life. You probably have a full-time job or another job or you're a student or whatever, so you're busy. A lot of people will tell you the secret to getting ahead financially is just to work harder. But think about it, there's no logic to that. It's not true. In fact, the hardest workers in the world actually make the least amount of money. Go to a restaurant, who, who works the hardest? It's usually the waiters, the bus boys, the cooks. Do you think they're making more money than the owner of the restaurant? The owner of the restaurant is probably out traveling the world. One of my mentors was a guy named Giorgio Batoxias from, uh, he was a Greek guy when I lived in North Carolina. And um, he was a mentor to me. He owned a whole bunch of restaurants actually around the world and he was a top chef and you know what? He had a great life, he traveled the world, he owned the restaurants, he had a business partner that ran it. He pretty much would come in, cook, walk around, say hi to people and just live his life. He was making 10 times, 100 times more money than the people who were working hard. So if your strategy is like mine used to be, which is just pure hard work translates into higher income, you're kidding yourself, you really are. Do you think, you know, Warren Buffett says he sits around and reads all day. He reads for eight hours a day. Is that hard work? I mean, it's maybe a little mentally fatiguing, but he sits around, no stress, and he made, he pays himself $70 million a year, six million bucks a month. Is he working harder or in a more relaxed state, a less stressful state than the average person in the world? So I think that that's one of the myths that to understand what I'm about to tell you, you're gonna have to understand that because if you don't understand that, you don't understand anything, okay? So here's what I try to do. I try to get twice as much done in half the time. That's what you need to do. In your life, financially, if you can accomplish twice as much in half the time as everybody else, income goes up, stress goes down, and that's the goal. If your income goes up because your stress comes, goes up, it's not a good goal. My lifestyle, I judge my lifestyle by a simple saying that I once heard. It says the measure of wealth is how busy your schedule is. True wealth is doing whatever you want on your time. A lot of you watch my Snapchat and you're like, Ty, you know, how do you have such a fun life? Yesterday I was courtside at the Clipper game, go to the Laker game, tomorrow I'm speaking I think uh, at Harvard, so I'm flying out. I'm gonna charter a Gulf Stream. I don't always fly private, but when I feel like getting there faster, 
more convenient. Gulfstream is pretty dope if you've ever been in one. G4, they got a couch inside of them. And so, uh, and we can get from LA to Boston. I can get there in five, five hours nonstop, five and a half, I think. So freedom. And then I'll probably, you know, I didn't know what I want to do. I'll probably pop down to New York City, chill there for three or four days before Thanksgiving. Then I'll come back to San Diego, see my, my grandma's 98, go with my family to, um, to uh, Thanksgiving. And then I'm probably going to head to London. So my life did not used to be, was not always this way. Trust me. It was not always this way. Move that a little to the side, Nathan, so I can see. Um, so, and if you see me going in and out here, like I said, even on these live calls, I try to set my own schedule. Um, actually looking at a real estate deal. But, okay, going back to this, how do you get these businesses to pay you one to $10,000 a month? Because think of how many small businesses are around you right now. In the United States, there's, it's hard to know exactly how you measure, but there's about 20 million small businesses in the United States alone, okay? If you look at Europe, population of Europe's about the same size as the United States, a little bigger. So it's probably about the same amount of small businesses, give or take. If you go around the world, you're probably, my guesstimate, I don't know the exact, I haven't read an exact estimate, but let's say there's anywhere from 50 to 100 million businesses in the world. What's business's number one problem? Getting customers. So if you become a customer acquisition expert for them, if you walk into any business and you say, I'll bring you more customers, and in exchange, you pay me some money. They'll always say yes, as long as you live up, always. If I lost all my money today, you know, it wouldn't be fun to lose my income and stuff because I've built it up over many years, but I'm not scared because I know I could walk into any business, basically, there might be a few businesses I wouldn't know how to help, but almost every business and get them more customers. And in exchange, I say, Give me a percentage of what I'm making you or pay me a flat fee, okay? So you always have a job. People are talking about a bubble. People are talking about unemployment. That's gonna happen. There will be a recession, mark my words, in the next, about every five to 10 years in the United States, there's a recession. The last one was 2008, okay? Lasted, depending on how you count it, you know, one to three, four years. Um, and now we've been in the, you know, so the, it contracted. Now we've been in expansion. It's going to contract again. It's been doing that for centuries. Centuries. 1800s, it was doing the same thing. But you know what? Doesn't have to affect you. And through every recession, lots of people did fine. So you must prepare yourself, prepare your family, prepare your future. Without enough money, you will suffer. I don't care what, how much meditation you do. I like to do meditation. I don't care how zen you are. I don't care how non-materialistic you are. I lived for two and a half years with the Amish, with no electricity, no cars. So I know how to live non-materialistically and I see the benefits of that. But you know what? Even the Amish had to make money because they had to pay their taxes. They had to pay property taxes. They had to buy land. They had to buy things that they couldn't grow themselves. Everybody. So the idea here is there's opportunity, 20 million to 100 million business out there. They're not being helped. And I'm gonna show you something. This is what no one's helping them with. So here's you, okay? And let's say you're not making enough money. Boom. So how do you make more money? Easy, you find opportunities, every single billionaire. You know, I was just at a dinner with, I'm having lunch uh, with Steve Ballmer. He, him and Paul Allen and Bill Gates started Microsoft. Paul Allen's worth $28 billion. So I've talked, I get to talk to fascinating people. He owns the Clippers too. Mark Cuban was over at my house, worth $3 billion. At some point, all of those guys were right here. No money. Mark Cuban told me he used to drive around Dallas, Texas, looking at all the people who had better houses than he had 
being envious of them and wanting to figure out. But he wasn't envious in a negative way. He was planning. So what he did, it's always the same formula. The next step is you identify a trend. Some people will call it an opportunity. Give you an example. At some point, Mark Zuckerberg had no money. He was a college student at Harvard, where I think I'll be tomorrow. Uh, I've never gone to college, so or I went. I'm a college dropout. I went for a few a quarter. So I don't know if Harvard knows that, but they invited me to speak uh, anyway. So trend, you got the opportunity, and then they were what I call a first mover. This is a critical thing. So you can't just see trends and opportunity. In fact, probably every friend that you have will tell you about some trend opportunity. Hey, I'm gonna make an app. I got an idea for a new business. But that's not enough. You have to be a first mover. So that doesn't mean you have to actually be the very first. Because Mark, uh, because Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook was not the first person to build a social network. Friendster was before them and MySpace. Remember Tom and MySpace? So being a first mover means you're at the beginning of the trend, not necessarily the absolute number one person. So if there's some opportunities you see, okay, there's some trends and opportunity, and somebody else has already done it, don't freak out, it's okay. As long as not too many people have done it, okay? If too many people, then you're no longer a first mover. So right now, if you try to start a website to beat Facebook, you're gonna have a hard time. Even Snapchat is having a hard time because Facebook owns Instagram. So it's better to be Mark Zuckerberg. And that's why Mark Zuckerberg is richer than the uh, investors and the, the founder of Snapchat. Even though Snapchat, I do love Snapchat. So what's a trend and opportunity? Now, if you do this, here's what happens. You put in half the work and you get twice the results or even more sometimes. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Steve Ballmer, Mark Cuban. Trust me, there's construction workers working way harder than them. There's single mothers working way harder than them. And, and I don't mean this to degrade people. I'm not saying that Mark Cuban is more important than school teachers and nurses and all that. No, everybody, uh, it, the, all of those are very important. But what I'm saying is just a fact. And the sooner you deal with the facts of re and reality of life, the sooner you get ahead. And some people, just because things are unfair doesn't mean you can't learn from them. If you're like me, I bet you people have treated you unfairly. I bet you've dated someone who betrayed your trust or did something shady. Maybe you worked somewhere, they did the same thing. But you still gotta learn from it. You still, this is an interesting book, 13 Things Mentally Strong People Do. And you know, one thing that I said, it, it, you, you don't repeat your mistakes because you learn from them. So if you've seen the reality of the modern world and you've seen that there's something unfair, you can either improve it, and the best way to improve it is to empower yourself. When you're broke, you don't have any time to help other people. Isn't that a fact? I can help more people now. People say, well, Ty, why do you do these free calls? Why do you, you know, I put out enough free videos on YouTube in the last 18 months that uh, people have watched 650 million minutes of those videos have been watched. All absolutely free, you know, YouTube, but I don't, I don't put ads uh, in front of my videos either. So I don't make any money if people watch my free YouTube videos. It's good for branding for me, so I indirectly benefit, but it costs people nothing. Why am I able to do that? Because now I've been able to see trends and opportunities, be a first mover, and I have to work less and I get more results. That's got to become you. And you don't have to be the same as me. You don't have to do the exact same thing as me. Everybody's a little different. You find your niche, and I'll talk about how to do that. But I promise you this. Name somebody who hasn't found a trend, an opportunity, and been a first mover and still been financially, uh, you know, b made big bucks. I can't think of anybody. If you go through the, the trends, 
If you look at Jeff Bezos, who I think is now the richest man in the world, or one of the top five, he's e-commerce. Back in 2000, 2001, he built a website where you could buy stuff online. Everybody was saying, laughing, Walmart was making more money, JC Penney's was making more money. But he saw a trend that he knew was an opportunity. He became a first mover, he quit his job, he invested 200 grand that he borrowed from friends and family, and now, He's over $60 billion, 60 or $70 billion net worth. That's $60,000 million. That's how much money he has, okay? And he enjoys his life. He does what he wants. When you're making $60,000, $60,000, $70,000, $60,000 or $70,000 million, no one tells you what to do. No one puts a schedule on you. You are your own schedule. You are your own freedom. You feel like watching basketball, you go watch 100 basketball games. You feel like going and re relaxing on a tropical island, that's where you are. You feel like not being around somebody who doesn't treat you right, you kick them out of your life. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very good life. So what is a trend? I wanna talk about one specific trend and opportunity right now, okay? One specific trend and opportunity. And that trend is social media. We live in a weird world. The average kid who goes to public school in the United States, taxpayer dollars invested in that child are between 100 and 200 thousand dollars, depending on the state. In New York, it's almost 200 grand. I read. So from first grade to graduating high school, we as a country invest 200 grand per student. Then, if you go to college, there's subsidies, there's Pell grants, there's all this. There's probably at least in four years another. Uh, depending on what school you go to, you know, 30 to 100 grand invested. So you're talking anywhere from two to three hundred thousand dollars invested in you, plus taking up at least 15 years of your life. My question for you is Did you get your money's worth? Do you feel like you're equipped with the life skills that you need, and you need life skills in four main areas health, wealth, love, happiness? Did you learn? how to keep your body, you know, six pack ready, <laughs> basically. Did you learn how to create wealth, positive cash flow, and wealth building long-term uh, appreciating assets? Did you learn how to control your social circle, how to read people, how to understand personality types, how to understand attachment styles and love? Did you learn how to overcome anxiety, depression, fear? The answer is, I didn't learn any of those four things. Maybe they were lightly touched upon, okay? But the biggest scam that's operating on a daily basis in the modern world is the one that you and I got put through. Now, there was no specific person trying to put the scam on us. It's not a conspiracy, it's just status quo. How come this hasn't been taught? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. They're trying to teach it at universities, but you know what? Most of them are out of touch. Who made, this is a pop quiz question for you. Who made $52 million, this is a woman, 52 million and was on the cover of Forbes magazine recently? A woman who's, who used social media, meaning she didn't have a Harvard degree or an Ivy League degree. She didn't have an MBA. She didn't do all the things, she didn't work super hard, okay? She did put in some work, but she, you know, she didn't work nonstop. Yo, yo, I'm on Facebook Live. Don't miss this. Talking about trends, opportunities, raise your income. Give me one second. Oh, what's up? I'm gonna flip it because it's mirrored. And you can't really read it. Oh, okay. Then I can't see. Uh, I will put it up here on this screen. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll do that. Give us a sec. Hopefully that is better for you guys.
All right, give me one second. All right, so I'm gonna get these. Who can answer this? Who made 52 million with social media? It's a woman. Let's see the questions, what do we got? Somebody put JK Rowling. No, she did make a lot of money. Mackenzie Dern? Mackenzie Dern, somebody said? Kim K. Gabriel Reese. Kim K, I heard somebody say. Yeah. Kardashian. Let's talk about that. Sorry. Give me one second. Catching up on a few things. Okay, we're back. Let's talk about this. Kim Kardashian, $52 million from social media. Here's my question to you. What did Kim Kardashian actually do? Does she have a super advanced degree? Does she work harder than you? What does she do? That's, that's just one of the Kardashians. $52 million. Are you seeing that opportunity? People say that, you know, women are held back in the workplace, which is true, but it, it ain't true for Kim Kardashian, because when you're an entrepreneur, you set your own tone. You said nobody can, who can discriminate against you when you're the boss? And that's just one Kardashian. That family right there, Kylie uh, probably makes, I would guess now, maybe even more than her sister. You're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay, what can you learn from that? Now, some people look at the Kardashians and go, well, I don't like what their message is. Okay, fine, be like Abraham Lincoln. He said he learned from everybody, even what he didn't want to do. So it doesn't mean that you have to do everything that the Kardashians do, but you'd be a nut job to ignore that. I mean, another example, and I hate to break this to people, I'm not that political, Donald Trump, and I didn't vote for Trump or Hillary, so uh, it's not me being biased here. Donald Trump won because, in great part, because he was able to spread his message much more efficiently. I called this a month before the elections. I said, go look. I was told somebody, a couple people in my company. I said, go look right now. Jay Smith said, Ty, bad example. The Kardashians are already wealthy. It's not relatable. My friend, let me give you another tool to beat, make money. You gotta be able to think a little bit. The Kardashians did not start out wealthy, my friend. Come on, man. You gotta be, have a little more brain power, especially if you wanna leave comments that I respond to. I'm a little bit of a, I'm not prejudiced against race, religion, uh, you know, sexuality, whatever, but I am prejudiced against stupidity. So when you, if you wanna leave a comment, use your brain power. They are wealthy because they're social influencers. They had no money to start with. They had a little bit of money, but if you read the story, especially of the mother, that's how she, you know, she was a, I think a housewife in San Diego. Okay, so Donald Trump, if you looked at his Twitter, he always had double the retweets and favorites on 99% of the posts. 99% of the posts compared to Hillary Clinton. So you could have called the elections a month ahead, okay? So, now, I'm not saying you have to become Kim Kardashian. I'm not Kim Kardashian. There's nothing similar about me in the Kardashians. You know, I'm a guy. 
I do different things. I have different interests. And, uh, you know, I talk about books a lot. They talk about jewelry and whatever their thing is. And, and I'm not a hater. You know, some of you are haters. And I'll tell you this. I've tracked a lot of people and been around a lot of people. Haters are always broke. I've never met a wealthy person that's self-made, okay, that's self-made, that's not an opportunity seeker. So what happens with most people is instead of seeing trends and opportunity, they see the negativity. So they go, okay, I see this trend, Kim Kardashian making 52 million in one year, but I don't like her. Well, I don't care about Kim Kardashian, just like I don't really care about Trump or Hillary. But I do spot opportunities. And to spot opportunities, they're going to be illustrated in many different people's lives. Some of who you'll like and some of who you won't. But if you're somebody who just goes, I don't like that person, I don't see the opportunity, you're a fool. And the world's full of fools. And the good news for you is, if you ain't a fool, you have the biggest competitive advantage. Warren Buffett, when he graduated uh, and learned from his mentor, Benjamin Graham, he said he thought the world was going to be full of all these smart people making smart decisions and it would be so hard to make money. But he said he got out there and it's like everybody's lost. And that's how the world is right now. If I lost all my money, lost all my businesses, lost all my income, it would be not exciting. But I could be right back up. You know, as long as you have your freedom and your health, you could be right back up. I read an interesting book about a billionaire and he said he has an advantage almost over, uh, over almost anybody. And his advantage is he's a real estate guy. He took on $800, bil uh, $800 million in debt. He personally guaranteed. So every night he said he'd go to sleep knowing he owed the banks on his real estate almost $1 billion. And he said, I could sleep through the night, eight hours, no stress. And he said he had a friend who had a higher IQ than him, 190 IQ, who couldn't sleep through the night because he was worried about his $1,800 a month mortgage. Both humans, both on planet Earth, both started with nothing. What's the difference? Mindset. And that's why I say, mindset is simply found in some people can't see any trends and opportunities. Some people, all they can see in the modern world is what the media feeds them. That's it. And this, this last election, like I said, I'm not pro-Trump or pro-Hillary. This last election speaks to the fact that the media lies. Okay? I don't care which side you're on. The media is full of liars. In fact, there's an interesting, if you Google, the, one of the highest professions with psychopaths in it is journalists. Journalists are statistically, according to us, I think it was psychology.com, you can see. Uh, more likely to be psychopaths. That me a psychopath means they have no empathy. They have no regret. They have no remorse. They'll do whatever they want. And so the media right now will tell you that the only way you can make money is go through a traditional nine to five job, go to college, come out, you know, get be a doctor or a lawyer or a dentist or an architect or a CPA. And all those professions are fine if you're doing them for the right reason. If you genuinely want to be a doctor, then you should be a doctor. But if you're just being a doctor because the system, your parents, the media told you that's the one way to make money, the average doctor makes 130 grand a year in America. You can make that in an hour on the internet, you know? And again, I'm not knocking doctors because obviously we actually need more doctors in the world. So it's not about who makes the most money, it's who does what they want. So you gotta ask yourself, what do you want to do? Do you wanna be in music? Do you wanna be an actor? Do you wanna be an entrepreneur? Do you wanna be a house wife or you know, house husband, I get whatever they call it. Uh, for a guy, you wanna be a, uh, you wanna be in travel? A lot of people wanna travel. It's been one of the most amazing things. I never realized how many people wanna travel. You know, I've been lucky, I've been to travel 40, 50 countries because of the stuff basically seeing trends and being a first mover. So, right here, let's talk about some specifics. One of the reasons, um, and I'm gonna open up here, I've got a test group that I, I've opened up once before. I'm gonna open it up again. For those of you a little bit later, I'll put a button up. But I wanna show you 
the biggest opportunity I see. You go in, there's 20 million to 100 million businesses in the world. Okay? 99.9%, .99 suck at marketing. They'll tell, and it's not me judging them. They'll tell you, go into a pizza restaurant around your house, go to a dentist, go to a doctor, ask the pizza guy, what's your weakness, making pizza or getting new customers? They're obviously, if they open a pizza store, they're good at pizza. Go to a dentist, go, what are you good at? Dental work or getting new people who hire, you know, who come into the office? Obviously, they graduated with a dental degree. They know how to do dentistry, but they don't know how to get more customers. So it's not a small opportunity. I'm talking 20, if, if you go global, it's probably maybe, I'm not sure the exact number, but let's just say 50 million, 20 to 50 million businesses out there, okay? Some of them large, some of them small. 99% of them will tell you with their own words that they suck at getting new customers, okay? Now, what's the best way to get new customers for many businesses? Internet and social media. I throw the internet and I kind of consider these one and the same. They're kind of becoming the same now. So internet, internet. So all you have to do is learn how to become an expert at the internet and social media marketing and for the rest of your life or for however long you want to do it, you can just reach out to these people and they will pay you money. These businesses in the U.S., 20 million businesses, generate $15 trillion. That's the U.S. economy primarily from businesses. $15 trillion, not billion. That's $15,000 billion or $15 million million. I believe that's right. So that's a massive amount of money. So that's just the U.S. I think the GDP in Europe, the EU, is even bigger. It's like 18 or something. And then you add Asia in. You're talking, I'm not sure, I think the global GDP is 50 to 100 trillion. Okay? Not counting real estate and assets like that. That's crazy amount of money. And here's the crazy thing. What I'll, I'm going to show you, those of you in my test group, the biggest companies in the world want to know. Um, I'm doing a thing, Toyota reached out to me. They want me to help them do a social, their social media. Nike, I just did a thing with Nike. Now they have, I'm not the only person, but they reach out because in terms of social media, I'm one of the bigger people out there doing social media. And also there's a lot of people that are big on social media, but they don't know how to make money with social media. So I'm probably, maybe I catching up to the Kardashians in terms of how much money I can generate per year from social media. I don't know their exact numbers, um, but I'm probably in the top two or three people. So what I'm showing you from my, uh, my own experience, okay, my own experience. Now, some people have said, they were like, Ty, a lot of the stuff you talk about is like big picture. It's vague, but of course it is because the first thing you have to learn is mindset. And the mindset is big picture. If I just came to people and just showed them just the how-to, they wouldn't get the vision. They would give up. They'd procrastinate. You have to understand the big picture. This is the big picture. Trillions of dollars, they suck at marketing, they'll gladly pay you. I'll read you this. Here's a guy. This is fascinating. I printed off some of these. Some of these are super long, so I'm not going to print it. Here's a guy, this is his Facebook. We printed it off. Quickly Acosta in Atlanta, Georgia. He just said, Ty, just closed two contracts, paying me $14.97 each. So he just generated two contracts, businesses paying him $14.97 times two, that's $3,000 a month. $3,000 a month, he just generated. And somebody said two contracts, and he said, yep, six months agreement. So $14.97 times six months, is how much? $9,000 times two. He just made $18,000 in one day. Now, he's not gonna get paid in a day, they pay him every month, but $3,000 a month, pretty cool. 
I'll read some, I'll read a little bit of these later. There's all kinds of cool ones. Where's the one? What? Oh yeah, Jaden Gross. Guys, I'm 21 years old with the white vans. Here's his Facebook, you can look him up. Don't bombard him, but I'm sure some of you will. The world's so cynical. Whenever I put up people's Facebook, they're like, I wonder if it's a fake Facebook. It's not a fake Facebook. <laughs> I make too much money to risk my life in a lawsuit lying. Every testimonial you see is one that I had nothing to do with creating, you know? So, and we try to verify. Some of them is hard to know. Theoretically, some people could be lying about these, but very rare. This guy actually sent me a copy of a check. He paid me in full, cashier's check. I got my third client. Um, so that was, it was a $21,000 check from a doctor's office. He didn't even have his business card printed. Isn't that crazy? Oh, here's a copy of the check. Really? Here it is. At 21, how'd you like to get a check for 20 G's? How would that change your life? Pays people's whole school tuitions. People go to school for four years. You know there's a trillion dollars in US college debt, minimum 1.2 trillion. They think it might be as high as two trillion if you count private loans. This kid, using the specific stuff that I'm showing you, just literally paid most of his college tuition. No debt. Or there's other stuff you can do with 20 grand. You know what else you can buy with 20 grand? You could buy a couple houses. You could put the money down on two or three houses. Create long-term wealth. Imagine if you own two or three homes and they're making you positive cash flow every month and they pay themselves off. And each of them is worth one, 200 grand and you pay them off over 10, 15 years. Now you got $600,000 generated in tax deferred wealth. That's the beauty of things like real estate and business. You can get tax deferred wealth so you don't have to pay taxes on it legally. Okay, so this stuff works. These trends work. What do you need to know? Well, here's a few things. And I, I don't necessarily have time to go through every one of them today. I just wanted to get some of you excited. For those of you really excited, I'm gonna give you access to a four month program where you can learn this all and get certified by myself and my company, okay? We create, this is not a college degree. If you want a college degree, go to college. I didn't go to college, so I'm not gonna give you a college degree because it wasn't important to me. If it's important to you, you can do that on the side too. But I'm not knocking college, I'm just saying it's irrelevant for this. There's no college that's gonna teach you social media better than what I'm gonna show you. I guarantee you, it is <laughs> not even close. I've been, I speak at some of the top schools in the world when it comes to social media, who are you gonna trust? 65 year old professor who hardly can manage his own Twitter or somebody reaching 100 to 200 million people a year in 92 countries. I'm gonna show you what I learned, okay? So somebody said, Ty, you said down payment but lenders won't give a 21 year old three mortgages. Charles, Charles, you've been tricked by the media, my friend. I feel horrible for you. There was just a guy at my house who by the time he was 25 owned 100 homes in San Diego. You have to use what's called creative financing. Hard money collateral based lending. That's another conversation, okay? But uh, don't believe it. Anytime you hear somebody tell you that it's not gonna happen, just know this, get excited. That means you make it happen and everybody else thinks it can't happen. I can't tell you how many times that happens. People say, oh no, you ain't gonna make any money. Then go do that thing. Seriously, when people say, oh, there's no money in this, that's probably when there is money. Whatever everybody thinks works is usually not a good idea. Anyway, that's for another conversation. So here's what you gotta know. Number one, you have to have social media skills yourself. So if you're watching this and you're like, Ty, I don't know internet marketing and social media, well, I got good news. You can learn it. And I can show it to you, myself and some other people that I brought in, I can show you, it takes about four months. I cannot show you in an hour and a half how to be master of social media. I've spent years of my life 
years. At least I really started doing social media big time in about 2008. I was one of the first people to use Facebook ads. Um, before that, internet marketing, I started in 2001. So I was one of the, I, that's 15 years ago I started. So I can't teach you what I learned in 15 years, and I have spent at least learning this stuff. My lawyers tell me to downplay it, so I'll just say a low number, 10 million bucks of my own money learning this. It's much higher than that, but let's just pretend it's only 10 million. So if you think I'm gonna show you that it's possible to show you that in one and a half hours, it's not. I can get you started, but if you're too impatient then I don't like to help people who are impatient anyway. They'll always be broke too. If you're one of those impatient, I had a guy, I said, give me four months, I'll show you how to do social media. I'll show you how to, you can get business, pay you one to 10 grand. He's like, that's too long, I wanna learn in four weeks. I was like, disqualified. <laughs> I told him, don't even, don't even try to buy this. I'm gonna lock you out of my uh, online program. Not because I was being mean, I said, come back when you have a little patience, my friend. That's like walking in the gym when you're a skinny person walking up to all the big bodybuilders that have spent 10 years building muscle, eating right, being in the gym, and you say, hey man, show me how to be you in one month. It's disrespectful, you know? It's disrespectful. Now, good news is, it doesn't have to take you 10 years to learn this stuff. But you probably, I think four months is the minimum. Now, some of you might already have some skills, so maybe it can be a little bit shorter depending on your experience, okay? But you gotta have the skills. Number two, you have to know how to get clients. Because you could have this, so step one is you gotta have skills, social media and internet marketing skills. That includes email marketing, that includes helping people fix their website, all these things, build sales funnels, all that, which might sound like complicated to you, but I can show you in four months. Then you have to have another skill. You can't just be good at this but not know how to get any clients. So you have to learn how you can get businesses coming to you, preferably, so you don't always have to be out chasing them, okay? Um, sorry, give me a second. Any questions while I'm waiting? You wanna read any questions there, Nathan? Someone's asking if this will be around in two years. They're looking at this. In two years? Yeah. Well, this person's gonna... Yeah, well, it's gonna get bigger, this opportunity, you know? This can be for sure part-time uh, or full-time, whatever you like. Sorry, I'm almost done here. A lot of people are asking how much. Um, what, what do you think the, the best social media outlet is? What do I think is the best social media? Oh, it depends. Video marketing is one of the biggest thing. So. Ash said, while well, you're waiting, dude, we're waiting. I know you're waiting, <laughs> but sometimes people are like, Ty, it's all about me. I'm doing other stuff at the same time. If anybody doesn't like my style, it's just like TV, change the channel. I know that sounds harsh to people, but it's not. I don't like people that are too demanding. If I'm gonna sit here an hour and a half and show you stuff, and I'm gonna take five or 10 minutes to take care of my own business, it ain't rude. You know, that's not rude. If I went somewhere, in fact, <clears throat> I was with a guy as a billionaire, and while I was there to talk to him, he had some other business. Do you think I said, uh, I'm waiting over here? He'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> He's already rich, he didn't need my help. So, you know, as I told you, all you gotta do is watch live comments on Facebook, and you can see what's wrong with the world. It's sad, you know? It's not, I'm not mad at that person that wrote that. I'm just going, you're going to be broke. <laughs> Till you change your mindset, you don't know how to think. You don't. You just literally, people don't know how to think. It's one of the biggest problems in the world. 
Some people were like, why are you eating during this live call? Well, because I'm hungry, you know? Now, if anybody here, I charge a million bucks a year for consulting for me to work with your business one-on-one. -on -one. If you wanna wire me a million bucks, I will not check my phone. Anything less than that, I ain't, it doesn't matter. People try to offer me 10 grand to call them on the phone. I don't need 10 grand. It ain't worth it for me, okay? I'm not money driven like that. I got enough money to do whatever I want. But I like to give back to people as long as they're a little patient with me. Like this is, you know, that's, that's how it goes. Okay, so you gotta know how to get clients. And by the way, if you're ever bothered that people aren't paying attention to you, for the love of God, learn a little trick. I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you have an iPhone, get iBooks right there, iBooks. You can see mine's always open to a book. If I'm at a doctor's office and the doctor's like, hey, I'm busy, I'm gonna be 20 minutes late, I'm excited, now I got 20 minutes to learn. S formal education will make you a living, self-education will make you a fortune. True little s story on this, not to get sidetracked, but this is important uh, for those of you who are gonna get in this program. I don't let many people in, but um, those of you who are in, I want you to understand this mindset. So I'm on an airplane, I went to the Super Bowl. Actually the NFL gave me, it was cool. It's the first time I've ever been to Super Bowl last year. And the NB, uh, NFL gave me um, tickets, passes and all this stuff. So I go to the Super Bowl, then I needed to get home. So I go right to the airport to go home that night, right from the stadium. And we look, get all, I bought uh, $400 worth of books. Sometimes I'll just go on a book splurge in the airport. So I buy all these books and I go in, I Snapchatted it. I get on the plane and they go, we got bad news for everybody. And, uh, and the pilots are not here. They're an hour late coming on another airplane that their flight was delayed. I've never seen that before. And the whole flight just goes, ah, everybody got all stressed out. Now for me, my immediate thought was, yes, I now have one hour to catch up on all these books. Because when I buy all those books, I'm like, how the heck am I gonna read these, okay? So I get off the plane and I'm reading the books. A guy comes and sits down next to me and I look over and I recognize him. His name's Robert Patrick, you know Robert Patrick. So he's a famous movie star. Um, he was, uh, his most famous role, he was term in Terminator. T2. He was the bad guy in Terminator, right? The, the cop, when he was, he was T2, right? He's been in like 40 movies. And he's on that, that number one TV show. Uh, what's that TV show? Yeah, he's on, yeah, yeah, that's what he's on. Oh, okay. He's on Scorpion, that NBC or ABC show. So he sits next to me and I know he's there with his son. So I, I was like, should I do business networking? Because if you want to get ahead, you always got to know when is the right time to network with the right people. So I finally put the phone down and his son recognized me. I saw his son telling his dad, that's the guy on YouTube. So I just looked over and I said, hey, my name's Ty. And we started talking. We ended up ta talking for like an hour. I read a little bit, but I talked to him. Um, we exchanged phone numbers. I just saw him. If you want my Snapchat, uh, I took a helicopter. Um, sometimes I'll charter helicopters and I want to get somewhere fast. So I went to Palm Springs. I chartered a badass helicopter. It's a Sikorsky. It's the big one. It's, just, it's, just, it's the one Donald Trump has. And so he was there um, at the airport, at the private airport. So we talked. But I got back on that plane and I thought to myself, I saw an opportunity that nobody else saw. When everybody else had an hour of downtime, you know what they did? They complained, which means they got no benefit. They ain't gonna change the world. If there's no pilot there, what do you want? To, you wanna fly the plane yourself? I'm happy we didn't go up in the air. But those people had a bad mindset. They didn't get excited. They should have got excited that when things go bad for you, that it just opens up another opportunity, an opportunity for me to read a book. I've read things in books that have made me a million dollars in one month from one technique that I applied to business. I mean, books to me, when some people see all these books and see a lot of work, man, I see money, I see opportunity, I see good life. And so, and I got to meet a cool guy that I beca became friends with. So for all of you, when I look down at my phone, 
and I'm, I'm not paying attention to you because you're not my child and you ain't never done nothing for me. So <laughs> don't be too entitled that I have to take all my life and focus on you either. It's not fair. Just take the opportunity to do something else. Bring a damn book. I got books scattered around my house. So anytime I got downtime, oh, Peter Diamandis, boom, boom. 13 things mentally strong people don't do. All you got to read on this book is the damn index. They don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. They don't worry about pleasing everyone. See, I don't worry about pleasing everybody. Some people get mad if I drink my protein shake during this, but I don't care because that's one of the things mentally strong people don't do. <clears throat> okay, you know another good one? Chapter nine, they don't resent other people's success. A lot of people, when I bring up the Kardashians, they resent their success. Oh, she just did porn, she just did a sex tape. Nah, nah, nah. nah Kardashians ain't dumb. <laughs> you know what Joel Salted used to call them? They're dumb like a fox, meaning they're smarter than almost everybody you ever met, but they come off as dumb. Trust me. You don't make a billion dollar brand by accident. You know what else this book says? They don't feel the world owes them anything. They don't expect immediate results. You can learn that in the two minutes that I'm checking my phone and drinking my protein shake. You could have already taken that knowledge into your brain and literally been fast tracked past 99% of the world. So you gotta know how to get clients. I'm gonna show you how to do that. One of the techniques to get clients is you start out with one person, one business that you either do for free or a reduced rate. You do a good job for them and you get a testimonial. Because once you can walk into one pizza restaurant or one dentist's office or one landscaping business or one plumber's company and say, look what I did for your competitor, I can do it for you, they'll go crazy. They have to hire you. That's the number one way. Boy, you wanna get somebody to hire you, you make them um, uh, jealous of what other their com competitors are doing. This can actually, people think this is the hardest. This is the easiest in many ways. You know, I built businesses where we get so many customers. My biggest problem now is hiring enough customer support people. You know, I got to hire another 40 or 50 customer support people because my mentors taught me how to do this. Now, and then the third thing, okay, is you have to know how to automate your business. So if you create, following what I'm showing you, your own social media marketing platform, uh, an agency, which is really what I'm talking about, so you create your own social media marketing and internet marketing agency, you learn the skills, you learn how to get clients, and then you automate your business so you don't have to do all the work. You can outsource some of it, you can hire, you'll have to, uh, for sure, put in a little work, but you know what? I've learned in life. For me, my ideal life is about three hours of work a day for me. Now, look, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 19. I've put in as many hours as any entrepreneur I've ever met, okay, um, at certain points in my career. But I don't want to do that forever. There was a time in my life once where I was so, had to do a project in such a short period of time that for 14 days, I only slept about eight hours in 14 days. I do not recommend you do that. It's horrible for your health. It takes like two months to recover from. You burn out your adrenal glands, but I had to do it. So I've already done where I've already put in 18, 20 hour days for years at a time. In hindsight, it was a mistake though, because no one had taught me what I'm showing you here, which is there's ways to automate the business. In fact, your goal should be if you work three hours a day, times five, six days a week, that's 20, under 20 hours uh, a week. That's a great life. You'll love working. Sometimes I want to work because I'm like, damn, I ain't put in any work. Like even yesterday, I was, yesterday I was like super, I woke up late, I was super behind, and then I had to go to the Clipper game. It was cool, I had courtside seats. I'm friends with Chris Paul and some of the Clippers, Brandon Bass. Believe it or not, Brandon Bass, one of the Clippers came up to me, uh, he's like, Dude, I was watching your 67 steps all day today. It's pretty funny, cracked me up. Social media reaches far, man. I get all these celebrities watching my stuff just because YouTube is everywhere. That could be you too, you know? So 
Okay, know these three things. This is an important one. This rounds it out. Because if you just know these two things, you're gonna create yourself 18 hour a day income where your income will go up, but you'll have no freaking time to spend your money. You gotta have some time to spend your money because or else you're just making money, but you know, <laughs> there's no enjoyment from money. Now, this, each one of these things will take me about a month to six weeks to teach you, okay? And that's why I say, that's why I created this four month program. Four months. Now some of you will go faster and some of you will go slower. Some of you maybe will do it in two to three months. Some of you will want to go, you know, some people like to take their time. You might want to take six to eight months. I recommend somewhere around four months. It's enough time if you understand how the neuroplasticity in your brain works. Your brain takes a while. You can't, it's like I do Muay Thai, I do Jiu Jitsu, I box. You cannot get good. I don't care how good of a teacher and a student you are, you ain't gonna get good at Jiu Jitsu in one week. Your brain needs muscle memory time. And there's so much brainwashing in the world that I need about four months to also change your mindset on lots of stuff. Just look at these comments I get. You know, a lot of them are awesome, but some of them just show, you know, like I said, I feel bad for a lot of people because I see that the chains of bad habits are tying their hands down. And I'll tell you this, if you're trying to run a race, if you have chains around your hands and your ankles, you'll never go fast. I don't care how hard you work. I don't care how good of a person you are and how good your intentions are. The chains of bad habit, there's a saying, the chains of habit are too weak to be felt until they're too strong to be broken, okay? Okay, so you get four months. And I, how did I misspell months? <laughs> See, I didn't go to college. I must be dumb. Um, so four months. In those things that you're going to learn. Let me read you off kind of a list of stuff. Then you can ask me some questions. Uh, <laughs> someone said, Ty, this is how you know it's a scam. He can't even spell months. But Liz, I'm smart enough to get you watching me. Ah. Liz, who's the smart one now? <laughs> I always get a kick out of people who, uh, it's like, is it, is it Drake? If you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. And that's, a, that's what you want. I'll tell you this right now. If you don't have at least 10% of people mad at you, you're not taking big enough risks. Trust me. If you don't have 10% of people who come encounter with you thinking that you're doing something wrong, you ain't popping. Trust me, think about throughout history. Every person who changed the world for the better was hated. In fact, if you study history, most of them get killed. Martin Luther King Jr., he had the simplest idea. Black people and white people should be able to go to the same school, drink the same water fountains. They shot him in the head, released dogs on him. Mahatma Gandhi thought India should be able to rule themselves without colonial power and the English running them. Shot in the head. JFK, John F. Kennedy, you know, was one of the most loved presidents. Some people didn't like him, shot him in the head. This shit's been Abraham Lincoln. He had an idea that the country should be united, that, that there shouldn't be slavery, slavery, shot him in the head. So hopefully none of us get shot in the head, okay? But the point being is, somebody said Jesus was hated. Yeah, religious leaders. People love the status quo, man. They, people don't like what I say. People don't like what I say. How many people have gone to college? They're not gonna like me saying, hey, you might have wasted a lot of money. How, many, how powerful is the teachers union in public schools? They don't like me saying, hey, a hundred to $200,000 being spent on every student and most people can literally do nothing positive in their life when they get out of school. We're wasting every kid you and I and every kid in public school for the most part is getting a wasted life. Seriously, you're, they're starting out at 18. Instead of having a head start, everything's against them. I didn't, no one taught me anything till I got out of high school and found a mentor, okay? So, and I got a couple bonus things I'm gonna give you guys too. Just for those of you cool enough to stay on here, listen to me talking about different things. Listen to me drink my shake. 
taking a minute and checking my phone. Um, but goal is four months from now or less, you got your first customer paying you at least a thousand dollars a month. So I'm going to show you there's, you should have different price packages and I'll show you how you can justify those prices, either a thousand, 2000 5000 or $10,000. Some of you will get customers who pay you 10 grand a month. Now it won't be all profit because you'll spend some of that money on Facebook and Google ads for them, but it should be at least 50% margins. One customer paying you 10 grand at 50% profit is $5,000 a month. Two customers, you're making the same as a doctor. You know how many years schools go, uh, how many years of school a doctor has to go to now? Most of the time, it's about 12 to 14 if you count undergrad. Surgeons longer, some, perfect, some a little bit shorter. So four months ain't that long. You get two customers. Now, depending on where you live, your skill set, you might only be able to get you know, a couple customers at 1,000. But two or three of those, you're making three grand a month, part time. It's awesome. My goal for you is that within one year of starting this, if you stick to it, You've got six clients paying you on average one to two thousand. So you're making six figures. Okay, that'd be eight grand a month. You're gonna be learning inside the program, not just from me, but I wanted to bring in other people because sometimes people will say, Well, Ty, you know, you have a big advantage, you got a big following. How do I know I can do this for businesses? So I brought in one of the teachers you're gonna learn from is a guy named Joe Soto. He's a father of eight kids. He's I think in his thirties, maybe. 40. He lives in Washington, D.C. He makes $1.2 million with his social media marketing agency. That's his gross revenue. It's not all net, but a lot of it. He doesn't have that many expenses. Um, he's able to raise eight kids. He has clients around the United States, but he pretty much is able to just stay at home. Sometimes he'll travel for fun to go meet them. He specializes in restaurants. He comes into restaurants, makes them an extra 30 grand a week in sales. That's over 100,000 a month, and guess what? He charges them and they're happy to pay him, okay? So you'll be learning from people like that. I've got other people in there, social media influencers, I'll be teaching a lot of it. Um, so it's pretty cool. And But that goal is a year from now or even 18 months from now, you've got five or six customers paying you 1,500 bucks a month. That's around eight or nine grand a month. That's over $100,000 a year. And really, your goal for life depending on where you are right now, the ideal is to get to six figures. If you can make 70, 80, 90, 100 grand, uh, compared, assuming you're making less than that now, um, you'll feel a lot better in life. That's really, Daniel Kahneman won a Nobel Prize as an economist at Princeton, and he did the research, he and his team, and they found the breaking point is you need to be happy and feel low stress levels about your money. You need to make at least 70 grand, uh, grand a year. So for all you making less, now if you're already making that, you need to go up. So I wanna show you how to go up, okay? Cause that's important too. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get the customers. I'm gonna show you how you can create videos for your customers. This is very important, video marketing. You must become a master of video marketing. And that's something that I think I've done. I think I'm maybe the number one person in the world for doing this in terms of how many minutes watched on YouTube, um, you know, and how many millions of views. And I'm gonna show you that formula that I use for myself and my businesses, and you can do it for other people, okay? So I'm not bragging about myself, I'm just giving you confidence in that this stuff's already tested. I gotta share with you how well it's worked for me, not to brag, but so that you know how, to, how well it can work for you. I'm gonna show you how to automate this. I'm gonna show you how to actually set up the business. Do you need a business registration? Do you need a license? You know, how do you form a company? Do you make an S Corp, an LLC, a C Corp? All these different types of businesses. Um, I'm gonna show you all these different packages and what to charge people. That's very important. I'm gonna show you the best equipment. Do you need, like I got all kinds of fancy equipment, but I also have simple equipment like an iPhone. So I'm gonna show you what you do need, what you don't need, what can work for you, and what will be a waste of your money. I'm gonna talk, and this is very important, I'm gonna talk about how to name your social media marketing agency. You know this guy here that 
this uh, that has 20 made 20 grand in one day from one client he used and followed the advice that you'll learn inside this program I'm gonna put a button up and you're gonna get access and I'm basically just doing it like this everybody so many people ask me to help them build a business and I've always been apprehensive because I haven't had time to do it and I wanted to do it right so I basically am going to give every person one opportunity. So we're trying as best we can. We show people the, the page to get access. If they um, click it and then don't get into the program for whatever reason, we just close it for them. So uh, we can do that with the internet with using cookies and stuff like that. But he got in the program. He named his company very specific way. And that's why a big part of why that customer paid him 20 grand. Because if you use too general of a name, people won't feel like you're an expert on their specific business. Um, I'm going to show you how to brand. You have to create brands for your customers. This is where people are very bad. The Kardashians, love them or hate them, have built a brand for themselves. When you think Kardashians, what do you think? You think of Hollywood, you know, kind of nicely dressed socialites I'll put it that way when you think of Donald Trump what do you think of you know you think of this kind of say whatever's on his mind rough around the edges old entrepreneur dude when you think about Hillary Clinton and this is something that the Clinton can't you know like I said I didn't like I, I'm not pro Hillary or pro Trump I didn't vote for either one I had things that I I had my mixed thoughts on both of them um, I think it's interesting we have an entrepreneur president now. Um, I th it would have been interesting to have a female president. So I, I could have gone both ways. I s they both had some major craziness. But one thing is that you know Hillary's brand branding and Trump's too could have been done much better. And so some of you can take this and all these people complaining about politics. If you know the techniques that I'm going to show you in these four months. I promise you, you can change presidential outcomes. Obama became president in great part because of his email marketing team. I don't know if you remember that eight years ago. So this stuff is powerful. You can change the world. Not only can you change your income, you can change the world with what I'm about to show you. I should have written both of the people. I'll tell you this, not many people know this. One of my neighbors ran Donald Trump's marketing and he just came over for lunch. And he's like, what we did for Trump pushed and it pushed them over, and that's on Facebook. Hillary didn't do it. So the power of you knowing social media and knowing how to apply it to businesses or political campaigns can be one of the most exciting things you ever learn in your life. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do email marketing. Like I said about Obama, email marketing can make a lot of money for your customers. Remember, the more money you make for your customers, the more money they're gonna pay you. The longer, and they're gonna upgrade from paying you 1,000 a month once you do a good job for them, you walk up to them and go, hey, you're paying me a thousand a month, look what I'm getting you. Upgrade to my third level package for five grand or upgrade to my VIP package for 10 grand. You know? So, okay. I'm gonna show you how to negotiate with these business owners. Some of them are gonna try to get you to pay them less, you know, to, for them to have to pay you way less. I'm gonna show you how you can overcome that. Um, I'm going to show you the forms that you'll need. You need to be able to get people to pay you on their credit card so that it's automated. I'm going to show you how to do the merchant account stuff. Uh, and that's very important. Very important thing. I'm going to show you which niches to go after. You should not try to get every of the 20 million small businesses to be your customers. And again, this works anywhere in the world. So if you're watching from Israel, from Norway, from South America, from Australia, from Asia, there's businesses everywhere. I, I focus on things like these type businesses or real estate that, that, that are universal demand. Another beautiful thing about what I'm about to teach you, some of you are young, some of you are middle-aged, and some of you are old, okay? If you're super young, good news is people will believe you that you know social media. If you walk into an old person's business and you say, hey, I'm an accounting expert, they're not gonna trust you because you're 18. But if you say, I'm a master of social media, they'll probably believe you. Because even a 70-year-old, old, grumpy person believes that young people know more about social media. But if you're a little older watching this, the advantage you have is now you can know social media, which is the young person's game, but you'll bring in you know, the age and experience, which they'll like too. 
Um, so I'm going to show you which niches to go after. Should you go after cosmetic surgeons? Should you go after dentists? Should you go after um, uh, social media, other social media people like influencers that don't know certain angle? You might know Twitter better than them. I'll show you how to do that. You, you might know Snapchat better. You might know YouTube. I'm going to show you all the different social media channels and how they're different. YouTube's very different than Instagram. Snapchat's very different, not just in obvious things like one's video and Instagram's more picture based but or, or short videos, but more importantly, people who watch those social media all expect different things. How often you post, what you post, how salesy you can be and so on. Um, I'm going to show you again how you can have other people run your agency so you can travel the world and have fun. I'm going to show you how to track social media stats so you can report them to your customers. I'm going to show you the exact template for all of this. It's very important. It's just a step-by-step -step guide. I'm going to show you how to avoid the death trap of trading your time for money. Okay, The goal is not to create an 80 hour a week thing for you where you're stressed out. I'm going to show you and give you access to a few bonuses too. I'm going to give you a private Facebook group where you can talk to other people in the program and share secrets. This is becoming a huge huge thing. Not only the way this works, you're going to get password protected uh, at access to a password protected website like this. You log in, you'll get a password, you watch the videos on your phone, you watch them on your laptop and they'll take you step by step through this whole program uh, for four months. But I'm going to give you other things. You'll also get access to a private Facebook group. That's only people in the program. You can learn from them. That's where these people are posting things like their 20 grand clients and you know getting, here's another one. Tashid said, yeah, I got my first client. I haven't even finished my website yet. I got, oh wow, he wrote a very long one. He's getting them paying him a thousand dollars a month. And now he's got someone at the $5,000 a month. Bonnie Laska. I just got paid a thousand bucks for my first month by my first client and I can't be more excited. This is my first paycheck in one year and seven months. Wow, I haven't even read this one. You can look her up on Facebook, Bonnie Laska, L-A-S-K-A. She says that she graduated college with two degrees and couldn't get a job for a year and seven months. Now she's, she said they're a company that sells health food products. They set me up to talk to another company owner in the next two weeks so hopefully I can land them too. Isn't that cool? She hadn't even been in the program. That's cool. Man, she got 124 likes on this already in the Facebook group. I, I haven't, I didn't know it was that active. It's cool. Um, I'm gonna show you how to create the best content because going back here, you gotta know what you're doing or else they might hire you for one month, but the goal is that they hire you for years and keep paying you month by month. It becomes like automated cash flow for you. So I'm gonna show you the best type of content, how to create viral content, how to produce content that's basically, um, you know, sales content versus viral. They're very different. I just recorded a video lesson on this. Uh, okay, so much stuff. So the first 30 days, you're gonna learn how to pick your niche, form your company, get started with practicing on your own social media. I'm gonna show you how to build up your own social media, very important. Then the second month, you're gonna, and you can, the time frames you can learn it faster if you're a quick learner, how to become the master of social media. Templates, checklists, guides, all this is updated. The reason, I thought about writing a book about this, but books take so long. So by the time I write a book, six months have gone by and all this stuff is outdated. There's still social media books out there telling you how to use Meerkat. Meerkat shut down. <laughs> books are too, I love books, but not for this stuff. Uh, so then months three, you're gonna show you how to acquire high value customers, give you a checklist of businesses, the type of businesses you should contact that'll easily agree to get you a thousand dollars or more. And then you're going to learn the last month how to service your customers, build your team, automate your workflow. This last month is all about making it go from a service-based business to a hands-free type business. And you'll always have some hands-free. Uh, I mean, you'll always have some hands-on. You don't want to be completely hands-free. But you don't want to also do 80 hours a week. That's not my goal for you. Okay. So I'm going to put a button up. If you're on my, depending on where you're watching, Facebook, live, I'm gonna give you a link. You just can close this and type. And I'm gonna give you, 
for those of you who get on now, as long as you're watching this video feed right here, I'm gonna give you these bonuses. And these bonuses are worth more than the cost of the program. So that's pretty cool. Um, what's the link for uh, Facebook? The people on Facebook Live? Yeah. And it's also yeah. in the, I just put it on the title as well, but you can- What is it? Tyler. Tyler. Forward slash S-M-A. Oh, okay. Now, here's how you get in. It's very simple. When you click, when you go to this link, all the stuff like the price and people ask if there's payment plans and all that stuff, you're gonna see all that on the next page. So, um, if you're on Facebook Live, there's different places to go. If you're on Facebook Live, go here. S M M A. That stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. These are secret links, so if you want to get all the bonuses, make sure you type this in. Tylopez.com slash S for social, M for marketing, I mean media, M for marketing, A for agency, S M M A. If you're on my website, should they use the same one? Yeah, oh, there's a button. If you're on my website watching this on the website, there should be a button right below. Okay? Somebody said, Ty, your part is on fleek. <laughs> Drew says, I'm trying to be Nas. But Nas has a curvy one. I ain't trying to be Nas. I don't look anything like Nas. His hair is completely different. Ty, yes. Somebody, I see people putting it in the comments. Now, when you go to that page, it's got the rules because there are certain things I want you to commit to because this stuff that I'm sharing with people, with you, is very powerful. Seriously, like I told you, this stuff in the wrong person's hands can elect the wrong president, can take a business that sucks and make them huge. And so I want people to respect what, I'm, what they're about to learn. And so we got some rules. Then you'll see the page where you pay. Now, why did I make this a paid product? Because some people are like, Ty, you give all this stuff away free, why didn't you make this free? Well, I got about a thousand reasons that I didn't make it free. The simplest one is I've tested making things free and people don't take it seriously. Perfect example of this, it's so funny. In my office, I'll have all these badass tickets for like Lakers games and like, People, I'm like, I'm get, who wants to come with me to the game? And people will be like, yeah, me. And then last minute, they'll be like, oh, I got something else come up. But if I charge them 20 bucks for the tickets, there's, they've done studies. It basically quadruples the chance that people will follow through. That's why when someone tries to give me a book, I'm like, let me pay for it. Sometimes people see me at like Barnes and Noble and spend four or 500 bucks and they're like, Ty, isn't that a waste? You could get all those books for free, you know, for very cheap on Amazon used. And I used to do that. When I was broke, I didn't have any money, so I'd buy like a $5 used version of the book. But now if I do that, I'll procrastinate and not read the book. But if I come home with $500 worth of books, I'm literally, and they've seen, psychologists have found this over and over, they're like triple the chance that you'll follow through. And the biggest enemy that you and I have in our lives, I promise you, is procrastination. Procrastination, just think of this. Do you have the body that you wish you had? Do you know how to get it? And the answer almost always is yes, you know how to get it. You watch what you eat and exercise, pretty simple. But 99% of the world doesn't do it because they procrastinate. My advice to everybody is hire a trainer, pay them ahead of time, and you'll show up. If the, I just tell my trainers, my trainers walk in my backyard, go back there to the gym, they're there whether I invite them or not. And you know what? Sometimes I don't feel like working out, but I, I hire some of the best trainers, they're expensive. I'm like, you know, and they charge by the hour. So if I don't show up for an hour, let's say they're 300 bucks an hour, two hours gone by, $600. Three hours, I'm still procrastinating the house. I'm like, man, I just spent 900 bucks on my procrastination. Now people will say, oh, you're wasting your money. But it's not a lot of money for me, but it's enough money that it gets my butt out of bed and I go work out. So guess who benefits? It becomes a win-win. The trainers make money so they can feed their family and I get in better shape. It's the same with books. It's the same with everything. I spend 
For those of you going, man, I don't know if I should spend $1,000 on this program, or you know, I got programs that are $10,000. People are like, oh, should I get in that? And that's different, that's not the social media thing. You know, I've got the 67 steps, that's $67. People are like, should I spend that money? I'm like, I spend $100,000 a month on self-education. Paying consultants, trainers, either for my body, for my brain, business coaches, $100,000 a month. It's actually higher than that. Like I said, I like to under-exaggerate, understate it. So I put my money where my mouth is. And some people are like, how can you spend that much money? I'm like, well, I make way more than that. Every time I spend 100 grand on improving my life, I get like a million dollars worth of improvement back. So why would I not do that over and over again? So I highly recommend that if you're in the mindset that everything in life is free, well, let me tell you what's free in life or supposedly free. Your high school and junior high education. How good was that? But it wasn't free because it wasted four years of your life. I didn't pay anything for public school, right? But I didn't learn anything either. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. Now, somebody said, Ty, if it doesn't work, can we get a refund? So here's the bonuses I'm gonna give you right now, okay? If you get in the program, number one, most important, I'm gonna give you 100% money back guarantee. Here's the bonus. I was gonna just do it for a month. You got a month uh, guarantee. But I told my lawyers, I'm gonna make this a bonus. For the full four months, that means you could go through, because my lawyers recommended I not do this. Because they're like, if you do this, people are gonna take the whole four month program, then refund. Well, some people will do it and take advantage of me but I'm not gonna punish you for that. So you got four months, 100% money back guarantee, okay? That's bonus number one. I'm not gonna keep that forever, that's why I said, if you see this, while this video is up, that means the bo this bonus is still there. Okay, number two, and, and this one is worth more than the whole program. I'm gonna give you a free seminar ticket in person. So I'm doing seminar here in LA, I'll do one in New York, and I'll do one in um, uh, London, okay? And you're gonna get a ticket. I normally charge $1,297 for this, okay? But I'm gonna give it to you for free. So you, it's good for one year, you don't have to come right away, but it'll help you to be able to come in person, you can meet people, you can meet other people in the program, ask questions, exchange tips. You know, it's important to get out and go to some seminars. I try to go to that, um, you know, three, four times uh, a year. Somebody said, Ty, what's your net worth? Is it $4 million? I think if you Google my net worth on the internet, it says $3 million. Some people, some of my staff was like, should we try to change that, you know, fix it, update it? I'm like, no, I'm happy for everybody to think my net worth is only $4 million. Who cares? It, it keeps all the gold diggers away. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll have a change to my net worth is $10. Because when people meet me, they know it's not $10. But uh, never do things in life for other people. So my goal with making money was never, ever, ever so that there would be a website that said my net worth is X amount. I don't care. All I care about is one thing, the same thing I recommend you care about. Can you do what you want, when you want, every day, with the people that you wanna be around? That's it, that's all that matters in life. Do you have the freedom to do what you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want, or whomever you want? That's what matters in life. So if you really want to travel the world, can you travel the world right now, tomorrow? Get on a plane, everything's fine. If you got kids, do you got enough money to just pay a few assistants, babysitters to come with you and take off or get a private jet? It's a lot easier to travel kids if you have a private jet. Now, not everybody's gonna become a millionaire. This program is not designed. I'm not promising you're gonna be a millionaire. I'm not sp promising specific goals because I've learned different people put in different effort levels. So. Could you become a millionaire from this? Well, Joe Soto makes $1.2 million a year from this system. I've made a lot more than that. So it's possible. Could you become somebody making six figures? Sure. 
Could you just make an extra couple grand a month? Sure. It's all up to you. It's your effort. The system works. The system's proven, okay? This seminar will help you. Like I said, I'm gonna give you access to this Facebook group. This is a new bonus we added. This is awesome. People getting tremendous value. Not only learning from others, but getting tricks, techniques, people who are local. Watch that cable there, Nathan. Did you pull something out? It's still good? Okay. No, it's not good. He popped the thing off. Um, give me one second. Now, what questions do you have? Let me answer some questions because I know that people always have questions. Uh, how long are the videos? Oh, let me do one thing. Uh, one other thing here. So here's the links, tylopez.com slash SMMA. Also, I think people are still at my office. If you want to call, so you go to this link, tylopez.com slash SMMA. A, that's option one. Option two, if you're on my website, click the button. Option three, you can email maya at tylopez.com. And you can also go to tylopez.com and click on the help button. Sometimes if there's enough people, we'll have live help on or you can just ask a question and they'll get back with you. Now, sometimes we're getting bombarded by people. So if you don't get instantly answered, I didn't necessarily, I didn't realize how big, honestly, the demand would be for this. So um, I, depending on what time you call at, there may or not, uh, may or may not be enough people answering the phone. I didn't want to turn my whole office into a call center uh, to answer the phone. So you can just leave a voicemail, We'll get back to you. We'll honor the bonuses even if we've taken this down as long as you left your voicemail and all that stuff um, right now. So what other questions? How long, how long are you going to keep this on Okay, so here's how it went. Uh, in terms of how long I'm going to keep this up, very simple. Number one. I'm not going to keep it up forever. I've already closed it once and I just opened it back up. Okay? So, hold on. Just give me a second. I need a break here. Okay, questions here. Ty, what do you do for youth who experience the things we have? Not sure what that means. This is me trying to share what I wish somebody had told me. Ty, do you recommend taking out a loan to buy the program? Uh, well, I don't want anyone going broke to get in this program. For those of you who don't have enough money, you click the button, here's the, my answer to you. There's no good answer. Sometimes you just miss opportunities in life. So I've done it too. I've had not enough money set aside. I've missed huge opportunities. Things that are depress me. But that's how you learn. And for those of you who live a life and have an income that you're always broke, you gotta make a change. And you gotta 
cut major expenses, change your lifestyle, and figure out how to increase your income. You got to do both of them at the same time. You can't just raise your income and raise your, your expenses at the same time too. Ty, uh, how do you mean? So I'm gonna get off here in a few minutes. So this offer, I'm gonna keep it up. See the button, Ty Lopez S slash SMMA. If you don't see the button, you can, oh, and the last one is you can call. What's the phone number? One eight hundred. Uh huh. Twenty five. Sorry, that's a five. Twenty five eighty seven. If you live outside of the U.S. If you think you're too young, none of that's true. You can live anywhere in the world because the internet connects you to anybody. Um, maybe it's easier in some countries, but not really. I mean, if you live in North Korea or something, but you probably don't have internet access if you live in North Korea. So, uh, Ty, do people, so people pay for your system and, the, and those people sell the same system and the wheel continues to spin is that a pyramid? Marcio, no. Marcio, you're a media tricked person. This is not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> you're gonna sell services to a business. This is like buying an online video book that teaches you how to do something. Oh my. For all of you worried about being scammed, I can guarantee you you're in the middle of your whole life being a scam and you don't realize it. You know what I think is funny? So many people are protesting Trump being president, but he did get democratically elected. Now, I'm not pro-Trump, but this is how dumb the world is. He fucking got democratically elected and people are protesting. Okay, you're right to protest. Where's the people protesting outside of every public school in the United States? Where's people protesting outside of McDonald's, Burger King, contributing to 80% of the United States being overweight or obese. Where's the people protesting outside of Coca-Cola that has their soda in for six-year-olds to drink that don't have enough self-control because they're six? Where's the people protesting $1.2 trillion in college debt that you're not allowed to use bankruptcy to get out of? By the way, a Nobel Prize winning economist says that's the definition of a scam. No refund either. Where's people protesting the 200 grand that was spent on you in junior high, high school, and elementary school? Come on, man. People just like, they're tricked by the media. Whether presidents ain't gonna change your income. You think Hillary, Donald Trump, Obama, George Bush have anything to do with your income or your body? Most of the trouble you'll have in life is from four areas. Health problems? The president ain't changing it. Maybe healthcare changes it a little bit, but you know why we have such high healthcare shit in America? Because everybody's fat and eats junk food. So you ain't fixing it by changing health programs. It'll maybe put a Band-Aid on it, but it won't really fix it. The, you can only fix a country's health by having a general increase in well-being. Number two thing that's gonna make you depressed is not knowing how to create an income for yourself that's a livable wage. Nobody's teaching that in junior high, elementary school, or high school. So that's not, be, president ain't gonna help that. Number three thing, love life, love and friends. You think the president's gonna help you get a better social circle? Help you get rid of people that are gonna betray you? Find good business partners? Find good people to date? Nope, president has nothing to do with that. And lastly, the things that ruin your life are anxiety, stress, and depression. Do you think it matters which president there is? No. It matters a little bit who's the president, but it does not matter as much as the stuff that I'm talking about here or the stuff that you can self-educate on. So that's what I said. When all these people are worried about scams, when well, they're worried about Donald Trump, they are a scam themselves. It's sad. What you want to do is live such a life that you can create a bubble around yourself. A bubble where you don't have to be around bad people where you don't have to be around bad bosses, where you don't, not everybody's gonna be a millionaire, not everyone's gonna be a billionaire. That's not my goal for this. But everybody can have high levels of health, wealth, love, and happiness, regardless of being a millionaire, okay? Um, Ty, what's your say on investment in real estate? I got a different program. It's closed right now. 
but I just opened up a test group and let people in so that they could learn real estate from my business partner um, who became a millionaire by 28, started from scratch, was, wheel, was in a wheelchair, got hit by a car, couldn't walk. So he built it from scratch and uh, that's a different program. It's not open right now. I have a real estate program, but. Todd, you're the man. Zach Zaki said, should I invest in real estate? Marcio said, to clarify, this is different than some of the networks out there. Seen a ton of selling systems from Beach. Yeah, there's a lot of people teaching stuff out there. Some of the things are good. Some of the things aren't. I mean, look, this is a program where I'm teaching it. Even people who don't like me know that I'm good at social media. I've never had somebody be like, oh, you suck at social media because the numbers are out there. People know. And so you can be learning from me. I don't know if there's anybody else teaching social media that's actually good at social media that I've met that actually you can look at their numbers and go, okay, you know, like here, I'll show you guys something. I don't always show this, but here's my YouTube studio. This is like a log in here. I'll look at my minutes viewed, which is the most important metric because it's not how many views you get. It's how many minutes people watch. Oh, wow. I'm up. 682 million minutes watched of my videos. That's basically in the last 18 months, maybe the last two years. So it's almost 700 million minutes of videos watched, free videos. So it's not a shabby number. Google told me it's about seven, 800 years of videos have been watched. So that, that expertise that I've learned, I've learned it the hard way. I've wasted millions of dollars doing it wrong. I've, you know, spent probably, well, like I said, low estimate, I've spent $10 million learning this stuff. So you could learn this stuff on your own, but I've been doing it since 2001. I started doing Google AdWords in 2001. Todd, doesn't YouTube pay you for these videos with lots of views? No, it's opposite. I actually do, do both free videos and videos I pay to be pre-roll advertising. Wander, uh, Abdul says you pay for all your views. No, Abdullah. Abdullah, first of all, you ain't smart enough to know the breakout of this. <laughs> but the second thing is, sometimes people will say, but Ty, don't you pay? Don't you spend money to advertise your videos? Of course, morons. That's what I say back to them. Does McDonald's spend money? Does Nike spend money? You ever seen a TV advertisement? Do you think that's free? Smart businesses spend money on marketing. Hey, yeah. Sometimes, you guys should be getting excited because the people writing these are other people in the world. Think how easy it's gonna be for you to make money when this is the brain power of your competitors. People going, ha ha, you know why this guy's not good at business? Because he spends money on advertising. Genius, genius. When I meet business owners and I go, how much you spend money, on, how much you spend on marketing? And I met a guy once, he goes, it was another business I own in the industry and he would brag how he spent no money on marketing. So me and this other guy that were like, made the most money in that industry, we were friends, we became friends and we're like, I won't say his name, he's a secret guy. I said, this other dude over here is always bragging how he doesn't spend money on marketing. And my friend goes, every time I hear that, he just, bragging on how stupid he is. Cause that guy made like $1 million a year maybe. My friend now makes about $6 million a month net. Okay, so my friend's making like, I think he makes almost 100 million bucks a year online and he probably makes at least 40 or 50 million. So somebody says, uh, yeah. Matt Posia, Joshua said, Ty, you're savage. I'm not savage. I'm just like, I don't understand. <laughs> the more you read, the smarter you become, unfortunately. And each of you, as you read more, you're going to become smarter. And I'm, I'm warning you right now, the smarter you become, you have to increase your patience. My patience is not my strength. And uh, the more you read, the more you learn about how the world really works, the more you realize everybody's living a lie. You know, like I said, the media said Hillary Clinton has a 90% chance of winning. 
two hours later, the New York Times website said that <laughs> Donald Trump has a 98% chance. 98%. How do you get it that wrong? Oh, I can tell you lie. The media lies. That's the lesson. I don't care if you like Hillary or Bill. The media is lying mofos. And lying through the media, to me, is the most heinous sin because they influence so many people. There's people actually out there crying because of who became president, but they're not crying about the fact that they're 150 pounds overweight and that their kids are 30 pounds overweight and they're five. I read that 10% uh, of kids under five years old are now obese. Where's the crying for that? How are you gonna torture a little kid by letting him get obese? That should be a crime. You know, little kids don't know any better. They're five. You feeding your kids junk food nonstop. It's okay to give your kids a burger every once in a while, but come on, man. Ty, what do I think about the e-commerce academy or e-commerce? E-commerce is great. It's great. One good thing, for those of you business owners, learning this stuff is going to help your business even if you don't build an agency. Okay? So... Um, can we start the program any date you like? Yeah, it's, you can go at your own uh, rate. You know, you can go at your own if you're, but don't go too slow or too fast. That's my recommendation. So I, my guideline is roughly four months. Don't try to do it in four days and do not try to do it in four years. It's too long. You, you know, it's kind of like training. What's the optimate? pace to lift weights should you do one minutes in between set 45 seconds two minutes the answer is you need some rest between reps i mean between sets if you're lifting weights you can't do a set and then do another set a minute later unless you're supersetting but you're not going to do that all the time and you also don't want to take 18 minute breaks between each set same thing with learning this stuff tie for president no remember i told you what matters to me is living a good life being a president, you got to be out there for all every idiot to write something about you every day. Shit. Sounds like a, my definition of a nightmare. What other questions do we have? I'm about to wrap up. Can we uh, go through this alone or should we have a team? No, you can go through it alone or a team. I mean, if you... It's built for you to go alone. Here's a good one. How long before you actually start the training? Is it video uh, lessons or written lessons? It's mostly video lessons, but we have printed stuff too. Yeah, it comes with worksheets. It's got everything you need, you know? Okay. When's the real estate program going to reopen? Not sure. When I close down these programs, I close them. People freak out. They thought I was joking, but I'm not joking. This program, I already closed it once. The only, I opened it back up because literally thousands of people were Snapchatting me going, open it back up. So, which reminds me, let me Snapchat this. Whoops, I just sent that to some random Snapchat person. <laughs> I don't, it says Valeria, I don't even know who that is. Valeria, I didn't mean to Snapchat you that picture because I don't know who you are.
Okay. Will this be the best program for us if we are only wanting to build our own social media for our business? Yeah, because you could just use the stuff that's related to your own business. Some of the stuff you don't need to do if you don't want to build an agency. If I revert back to the program three years from now, do you think the material will be outdated? No, that's the good news. I can update it with videos. I can just swap the videos out. That's why I'm doing this as a video versus a book. I thought of doing it as a book, you know? Anything else? Um, how long will this be out? How long? Well, it's forum in Germany. Just wrote Maya two emails. My card is not working. If your card isn't working, it, sometimes if you're in Germany, your card will be, we have US banks, so sometimes they block them, but we'll get back to you. Go to sleep. If it's four in the morning, when you wake up, we'll send you a reply. Yeah, if you just want to learn and not do an agency, this is awesome for that, you know? It's great. Somebody said, come hang out in Houston with me for the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to go to the Super Bowl. Am I going to do another TED Talk? What's my Snapchat? It's just at Ty Lopez, my name. Ty, you should write a book. Yes. Has autism held me back from anything? I don't think I have autism. Uh... Do you like Brazilian women? I had a Brazilian girlfriend once. It depends. What matters more than where they're from? Told you, discriminate on people's brain. There's some stupid people and good people of every ethnicity and country. Trust me on that. That's why I never understood racism. There should be something called brainism like uh, discriminating based on stupid thoughts um, and stupid actions. What are my thoughts on thought leadership? I mean, social media is thought leadership, you know? Chris Miller said, Ty likes all women. No, hell no. Hey, I don't like all men or all women. No, you, one thing you'll learn in life, only about one out of 100 people really has your back. So that's how the world goes. If, and one out of a hundred is actually good. It might be one out of a thousand or one out of a hundred thousand. Somebody said, Tom, I'm a convicted felon and I'd love to be a mentor. Hey, you know, that's why I like being an entrepreneur. If you, it's hard to get hired. My dad was in prison for a long time. So when he came out, it was hard for him to get a job. So you got to be self-employed is the best thing a lot of times if you've had a hard background like that, you know? because then you don't have to go, people, you know the best way to get hired on a job interview is to not have to ever do a job interview. That's, that's, thoughts on women in social media, Julie Ann asks. Well, that's great. As I told you, there's racism and sexism and discrimination, but not if you own the company. I'll give you a perfect example of this. Spanx, the, the clothing line that, women wear those tights and stuff. Sarah Blakely became a billionaire, okay, billionaire, no investors, no debt, and everybody who buys it, nobody knows that she's a woman or a man. There was a, there's a girl that comes to my house who teaches in OMG, her name's Liz, and she's a, a Spanish, I think she's from Mexico, born in Mexico, she's a woman, okay, and she makes like 500 grand a month selling stuff on Amazon. And everybody buying on Amazon doesn't know if she's a man or a woman, black, Mexican, whatever. So the best way to avoid, um, to avoid racism is to be behind the scenes, you know? I have lots of businesses that people buy stuff, but they don't see my face. Ty, if you're in the program, can you get a refund throughout the 120 days or just after? Yeah, you can get it at any time during four months. So you got 120 days. I thought that was a pretty reasonable amount of time. What else? What else we got?
Any other one? Tips, social media marketing for music. That's a big opportunity. The secret to getting ahead in music, I'm telling you, is social media. Look at who has the biggest social media Instagram accounts. It's all music people. Bigger than the Kardashians. Um, whatchamacallit, uh, I think Selena Gomez has the biggest Instagram. She passed 100 million. She's the first to pass 100 million. So if you know social media, it will help you whether you're a musician or you're working with musicians. All right. I'm going to wrap up here. It's almost been two hours, but Sophia, can I buy you dinner? Sure. <laughs> What's a good book looking for the next read? Not Selena, Taylor Swift. No, it was Selena. Let me check if I'm giving you accurate. No, Selena Gomez has 102 million yeah, Instagram. Instagram followers. Come on, man. Then Taylor Swift. This is an example. Taylor Swift has 93 million. Come on, guy. You're talking to a social media person and your first thought is I'm wrong? Look, I'm not right about everything, but... When I go into my medical doctor and he says something, I don't instantly be like, I know more than you. <laughs> so Bieber doesn't have, Bieber deleted his Instagram. <coughs> Guys, Google it. I'm going to spend my time helping you find out common sense shit. Selena Gomez was the first. You know that like Snapchat, Instagram, all these companies, they, I have like my own reps. They know me. So I get a lot of inside information that they don't tell people. Like I know how many Snapchat followers I have because I have a rep there that will tell me. So, um, yeah. What books do you highly recommend? Go to tylopez.com slash books. You're in Australia, you can't go to the seminars. Well, you can go online and then I'll probably do a seminar. I might go to um, Australia for New Year's. Somebody said, Alex Petullo, Bieber deleted, you know too much about him. Hell no, I want to know about all the, you want to know about everybody who's killing the game. That's just how life is. I want to understand Kobe Bryant. I want to understand LeBron James. I want to, you want to keep abreast of the people killing the game. That's how you learn. It's called learning by osmosis. How do you stay passionate? You know, to be passionate in life, you need a few combinations of things. One, you need a little chip on your shoulder <laughs> about the world. That'll keep you up every day. You don't want to come from a pace of anger, but Larry King actually told me that. When am I coming back to New Zealand? Man, it's been a long time. I, I love Kobe, but I like you more. Oh, you should like Kobe more than me. Which reminds me, hey, can you tell Drew, we got to release the Kobe Bryant video. I did a little interview with Kobe. Okay. What's the best way for a newcomer to make money online? Nicholas Quilty asked. Right there. Drew Darby says, Tom, already in your social media program and it's amazing. Cool. Sweet. Well, I am going to head out and uh, go eat. Boz Rutan's coming tonight to train me. If you guys know who he is, he won UFC 17. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's an MMA fighter. Now he's a commentator, but he's a badass. Drop shipping, what do you think? When are you coming to London? I think I'm gonna come to London this month. So, maybe I'll see you. Best day of my life? What was the best day of my life? You know, a really smart guy told me something one time. He said, he, he has like the fifth highest IQ in the world, this guy. 
and he said, he told me, he, if you think of your life happiness being a one through 10, he said he likes to always be a seven or eight. He said, because if you are a 10 one day, you can't keep a 10 happiness every day. So he says he goes down a little bit to like, you know, you start at a 10, then the next day you'd be like a seven, you feel really bad because the contrast. So he says he always tries to be just a seven or eight. And that way he's always just feels good, but doesn't get high, low, high, low, you know? So for me, uh, I would rather be a eight all the time, but occasionally you hit 10. College student who wants to do the program, how can I pay? I mean, it's credit card or you can, you can call, we can do PayPal if you need to. Um, Ty, when you submit, your, oh yeah, when you submit your application, get in the program, then there'll be, um, I have a concierge that'll give you a call. So that's something I forgot to add. Yeah, I'm gonna stop, I gotta go eat. All right, so expect a phone call, you'll see that. That way you can ask all your questions. I took a group of in my office and made them into a concierge team. So that way you can get help. Okay. Tips to discipline the waste of time. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, talk to you guys soon. Thanks for so much. TyLopez.com slash SMMA. There's the button. You can email my at Ty Lopez, click live help, or you can call. If it's getting a little late, leave a voicemail. We'll get back to you, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.